Hey, hello everypony, it's Cleo here, and today I have something to reveal to you. I never learned how to take care of my little pony toy. Yes, you heard that right. You have to learn how to do it. I discovered this after watching CCR Television's video on how to care for an LPS according to WikiHow. And then I thought, hang on a minute, if there's such a tutorial for LPS, then surely there's such a tutorial for MLP. And sure enough, there is, and I haven't been doing the right thing! MLP Fever has not been doing the right thing for her ponies! Anyway, for those of you who are skeptical, here it is. WikiHow, how to take care of a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic plush toy. And I think this is true of any other toys as well, from the same line. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic toys are worth taking good care of. There are some ways to keep it in good shape, both through your imaginary friendship and through real hands-on care. Just as a side note, my friendship with my ponies is very real, thank you very much, there is nothing imaginary about it. Okay, before we get on to the first step, the method one of two, I'm going to show you the pony we're going to be taking care of properly today for the very first time. Here she is, it's a random Pinkie Pie. This one is an extra I've had kicking about for ages. She came with the fan favourites collection with Nightmare Moon and a whole lot of other ponies. And at the time I already had a different Pinkie Pie, so this one's just an extra and always has been and has been completely forgotten about. The poor thing's never seen much action. No siree, I haven't looked after her according to the rules, so we're going to change that right now and we're going to check out the first step of the tutorial. Okay, here we go. Method one of two. Caring for your My Little Pony's imaginary needs. Once again, there is nothing imaginary about it. Their needs are very real. Thank you very much. Ooh, we've got some kind of little palatial bed in the illustration there. If you just got the toy or are getting the toy soon, get ready for its arrival. Make a bed for it. I have already failed. I have never done that for my ponies. If you're getting or making Rainbow Dash, just get a pillow and a blanket for her because she sleeps on clouds. Or perhaps you could get some cardboard and some cotton balls and make her a bed. Well, we've got Pinkie Pie today and I'm pretty sure she just sleeps in a regular bed. So we're going to take care of that. Okay, well here are all of the ingredients for a bed. Luckily I already have loads of toys. And here is the perfect one, it's pink so it goes with all the pink here. I think it has little magnets on it, so we attach the headboard and then I suppose the hoof board, in a pony's case, we'd call it a footboard if they were humans and then put this kind of a uh, blanket thing on, there we go I'm gonna put the pony on, on her pretty new bed and for the first time we're going to tuck her in to her bed there we go, oh and I've even got a little rug for her Okay, the blanket is frayed, but we're just going to ignore that. It still does the job. Well, this is so much better! Thanks, Cleo! It only took you, like, three years, so why am I complaining, huh? Look, I'm sorry. Your bed's better than mine, if that makes you feel any better. Okay, next up, we have a picture of Sweetie Belle. Rather rubbish drawing of her, but there you go. And it says... Help your pony get used to the new environment. At first, your pony will feel a little nervous, of course. Wouldn't you if you were in a strange new place? Tell your pony it's in a good place. Try to make it relax. If your pony is lonely and misses its friends, try to buy or make these friends. That way, your pony will have companions. Hmm. Okay, well, Pinkie Pie's been kicking about for a long time in this house. I never introduced her to any of the ponies, she just had to get to know them by herself. And looking back, I think that was neglect. I really do. But we can't go back in time, so we're just going to have to right these wrongs right here, right now. Okay, Pinkie Pie, here is your new BFF. It's Tempest Shadow. Oh, awesome! I got a new bestie! Yeah, not on my watch. Oh, God. Oh god, it doesn't say what to do if the ponies don't like each other. Oh, uh, I feel a little nervous. Tell the pony it's in a good place. Make it relax. You're in a good place, Pinky. Don't worry about a thing. We're gonna take care of you. So hard, you don't even know. Okay, well that's one out of two. We have actually managed so far. Okay, we've got a picture with a green thing. Is it grass? Don't let your pony starve. Pick pick some grass and let it dry out. 
then you can give your pony fresh hay. But I, I have been neglecting this pony. I have never fed any of them. I have literally starved every toy I've ever owned. I have never fed them. Oh my god. Poor thing. She's malnourished. Uh, I better go and pick some grass. But it won't be dry. She can eat some wet grass. It'll be good, because I've never given her any water either. I just want to prove to you how serious I am about proper pony care. I am out in the garden right now, and I'm gonna pick that grass, boys. Girls, peeps, ponies. Check it out. Check out the grass. Got plenty of it. I don't know what kind of grass they like, if they like crab grass or just the regular common thin stuff. I I'll see what I can get for them. Okay, so I mentioned having a lot of grass. I don't really know if I've got enough. It's all been cut really short. Why is the long grass when you need it? I think there's a whole lot of stuff right there. If I just get out the moss. I don't really want to feed her moss. I bet that's bad for ponies. Well, they didn't say not to feed the moss. We're just going to try and follow the recipe. There we go. I, th I think there's a bunch of moss in there. We'll just... You know, she's not going to know the difference. I think that since Pinky's gone all these years without a scrap to eat, we can leave it there to dry and she can have it later when it's dried out and more delicious for a horse apparently. Okay, well I know she hasn't had a chance to eat any yet, but I would call that one a success. We've managed to pick the grass. Okay, here we've got a child holding the Sweetie Bell toy. Once you get your new pony, don't shake it. Your pony will get sick. It's not much fun to have to clean up pony bath. But if your pony does get sick, for example, if your brother or sister or dog shook it, it will become dizzy. Let your pony lie down and watch television until it feels better. You know, these ponies are getting more and more demanding. Nobody's going to shake it, so I don't know what the problem is right now. There's not a problem. Where did she go? Lockie, do you have my pony? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm shaking it. Why are you shaking the pony? God, now I've got to make you watch television! Razor, can Pinkie Pie and I watch a video game? Lockie shook her and now she has to watch TV. Uh, do you want to watch the television instead? Or do you want to watch my video game? What do we think, Pinkie Pie? I think she wants to watch the video game. Okie dokie. Pretend okay. you're not here. You have to, she has to lie down. She has to lie down, right there. And we have to let her watch TV. I think this counts television. What game is it? Xenoblade Chronicles X. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure Pinkie Pie loves it. I'm sure she will. She looks so cozy there. I think this is going to take care of her sickness. Hopefully. Okay, here's Pinkie Pie after successfully being calmed down by Xenoblade. Whatever, my bobs. I think she's alright to see the next step now, how to take care of her. Like I said, we're going to take such good care of her, she doesn't even know it. Okay, we did do that. And she wasn't actually sick, so we saved her just in time from the brother menace. Okay, here she is, sitting on a park bench with the little girl again. Take your pony everywhere you go. If you can't have your best friend or another person you trust, babysit your pony. Can do. We're going to take her everywhere with me. I should have taken her to go and pick the grass with me. I'm really sorry, Pinkie Pie. Although this really begs the question, why does she need to have the friend ponies if she's with you all the time? She can't get lonely if she's with you all the time. So they don't really add up these um, instructions. I'm moving my thumbs a lot. Okay, now we're on to step six, which we have a different Sweetie Belle asleep here and a little bed. After a long and hard day, go to sleep with your pony. Don't forget to wish it sweet dreams. Okay, we'll do that. Sounds pretty doable, but once again, why do we need to do that if we already made a bed for the pony? Yeah. I feel like this could be an either-or thing, even though this is still on the same method. Okay. Okay, here I am in bed. Here's Pinkie Pie. Good night, Pinkie Pie. Sweet dreams. There we go. I'm just gonna tuck her into the blanket right there. There we go. Yeah. So I guess I'll continue all this tomorrow. We'll find out the next steps when I wake up. Okay, well I don't know what time everybody's watching this, but right now it is morning and Pinkie Pie has just woken up from a nice good night's sleep. Look how refreshed this little pumpkin is. 
Now it's time to look at the last steps of the instruction tutorial wiki how page thingamabob. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, this is method two of two, caring for your My Little Pony's mane. And we've got a picture here of some shampoo, conditioner, a toothbrush, and a hairbrush. Find a soft hairbrush, an unused toothbrush, and shampoo. Fill a sink with water and get a towel. Okay, we'll go do that. And then we've got the shampoo and conditioner here. That should do the trick, I think. Well, I've got his used toothbrush head, so I think we're just going to have to make do with the brush. Gently brush through your pony's mane with the hairbrush, and there's an illustration here showing us to do exactly that. Take care not to get it tangled, do not yank it. If this happens, lift it out carefully and reapply. Okay, re reapply what? Wet the pony's mane completely. Brush the wet mane out with clean with the clean toothbrush. This will smooth the pony's mane. Scrub gently with baby shampoo rinse out. Even though her mane isn't dirty, it's completely clean. We're gonna wash it anyway. Dry with the towel. Oh, I forgot about the towel. Let's get that. Run the towel up and down the mane. You can also simply squeeze out the excess water with the towel and just leave it to air dry. Brush and style the mane. Here it is looking pretty fabulous. They've managed to get it looking just like the show somehow. It will smell great now, which is much easier to handle for a wash. Okay, here she is a bit damp and ready to be styled, which they didn't really explain how to do. Uh, I don't know why I had to dry it first, because those of us who actually do style pony hair know that drying the hair first is really not the best way to do it. We're just following the instructions, because that's the rules. We're just gonna put it like that. I think we're just gonna give her straight hair, because there's nothing much we can do with this somewhere slightly damp. There we go, when she's on a bit of tissue paper because I don't want to get the set wet. I think it's fair to say she looks no better than when we started, but we're following the instructions, don't you worry. What happens if I ignore my pony for too long? Nothing will really happen, so don't worry. Pony needs are real, gosh darn it. Why would you make such a weird thing? Toys can't talk. This advice in this article is mostly for children. It's a good thing for a child to have a vivid imagination. In imagination, anything is possible. Let me tell you why you're wrong. Grown-ups need imagination too, and ponies totally can't talk. This channel proves it, okay? If it's a baby pony, it is smaller than normal and has really short or no hair at all, make some diapers out of tissues and tape. Diapers and nappies for people who aren't American. Be a lot more careful with a baby. They can get sick very often and are very picky. Well, luckily, Pinkie Pie isn't a baby, but we're gonna baby her anyway. There we go, we used to take a bit of the tissue here. There we go, we're gonna fashion a diaper. There we go. Tissue diaper. Nappy. So did this article help you? I think we're going to say yes. There we go. We did it. We completed the instructions. I liked it better when no one cared about me. This is exhausting. Not to mention, really embarrassing. So what do you think? Do the people at WikiHow know their onions? Or do they not know any onions at all? Let me know in the comments below what you thought to this tutorial instruction thing. And if you enjoyed this really silly video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified. Thanks for watching.